Hello everyone, my name is Andre Dima, I'm a professional travel photographer and today I'm going to talk about this cheap plastic lens from Fujifilm and why I think it is so underrated. So this tiny lens has some pluses that should make most Fujifilm users consider it. I know it is plastic and the zoom and focus are electronic and that may annoy some people like it did me when I first started using it but after a while you get used to it. The same with the plastic construction, plastic mount, plastic zoom and focus ring but decently built and you would say oh no all plastic, well this in my opinion is an advantage of this lens. It is very lightweight for a 15 to 45 mm zoom and that plastic helps with that. You barely feel this lens on the camera or in the backpack. This is a lens you can forget about and be glad when you find it like I was on one of my trips. I went just with my 33mm f1.4 because I wanted to use just that lens. And like always I found something to photograph that needed a wide lens. After getting back to the room that night I was glad to find this lens under some cables in the backpack and the next day I went and took some great photos with it. Yes, sometimes I pack quickly and my backpack is a mess and yes, I put cables over this lens but this may be another advantage of this lens, it is very inexpensive second hand and you will never stress about it. I paid just 90 euros for it here in Spain and I saw it even cheaper. But the build quality seems to be very good because this lens took a lot of beatings inside my backpack from other lenses and cameras in the past year and works perfectly. It's a great backup lens and great for beginners. You can use this lens for your first year of photography and after that you know what your favorite focal is and get your first prime. The autofocus on this lens is decently fast and accurate which surprised me, I thought it was going to be horrible but it's not. For a lens under 100 bucks this is very good. This lens has a stepping motor and not a linear motor but it is very silent when focusing making it a nice option for people that want it for video or vlogging. At 15mm it is quite good for vlogging. I know this is not a bright lens but how many people actually take pictures at night and let's not forget noise on Fujifilm cameras looks great at higher ISOs. Just look at these photos here and tell me what you think in the comments below, I think they are pretty good when it comes to noise. Oh and I couldn't believe that this lens has OIS, this can be very helpful in low light, on cameras that don't have IBIS and for video. The pluses keep coming, don't they? Now the thing that I love about this tiny lens is image quality at 15mm. I didn't expect this but it is really good, even if the corners are a bit soft and you can see some purple fringing when you photograph a chart. But in the real world at f5.6 this lens is sharp corner to corner and the center looks super crisp on the X-T5. If you zoom in to 24mm the image is even better in the corners and the center great, the only downside is at 45mm where the image is a bit soft but still usable. Here you can see some loca but if you stop down to f8 the image looks great. Just look at the photos I took with this lens, they look great in my opinion. Sometimes it is better to just think about the photo, composition, subject and light and set aside thoughts about gear, they keep us from achieving what we want. I think this lens renders colors very nice and has a warm tone that reminds me of vintage lenses, so I thought this lens is going to flare like crazy because usually older coatings give this warm tone, but the flare on this lens is very well controlled in my opinion because they don't lower contrast. I also think the zoom range is very good from 15 to 45 as you can see here. This test is just to see the zoom range, I know Fujifilm lenses change exposure when you zoom in or they did, recent firmware fixed that on some lenses. And the minimum focus distance is pretty good at 15mm, 13cm and I think 40cm at 45mm. 
Overall, this is an underrated lens in my opinion. I think it is sharper at 15mm than the more popular 18-55 at 18mm. It is very compact and lightweight and at the moment inexpensive. Yes, the build quality is nothing to brag about, but it survived in my bag and travels for a year without a problem. Believe me, that is something. So if you are looking for a compact lightweight lens with great image quality at the wide end you should get this. Also this is a great option for beginners. If I can take good photos with this lens so can you. If this video was helpful subscribe, like and ring the bell. And if you want to support the channel even more use the links in the description at no extra cost to you. See you next time.